This video is sponsored by the brand new JV Jiu Jitsu online store at jvjujitsu.bigcartel.com. What's going on everybody? This is Javi Vasquez. When you achieve the mount position, the first thing I will tell you to do is to establish control. You must be able to hold down your opponent first in order to start your path towards submission. Control is broken up into two sets of battles, the northern and the southern. Northern battles normally consist of pushing the opponent's chest and trapping the opponent's arms. Southern battles, although related to the northern battles, are independent affairs. There are multiple types of control to deal with the southern battles. In this video I am discussing one of my favorite types of control from the mount utilizing sticky foot control. I hope you enjoy this content and as always thank you for watching. got to push my knee down and then his knee comes underneath my leg. Okay, good. Is that what's really happening? You guys, if you guys are focusing here, you're focusing in the wrong place. The focus is here. If he start, if I start to feel, never mind my knee. You can push my knee up, push my knee up. Go, 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 get your leg up. See what I'm doing? So the battle is not up here. The battle is down there. The problem is, is that if I keep my knee tight and he starts to push my knee and I disconnect my foot, yes, now the knee comes out. But it's this southern control, this little wedge with my foot that makes it happen. Now, as he starts to push the knee, I start to open. Look, he can keep pushing. Go, go, go. I start to slide my knee and I walk my foot to his hip. He can go fast, go, he goes fast, but whoop, my knee slides, my hands readjust, but my foot is now buried. If he's on his side, I modify my base like this. If he goes flat again, maybe he tries the other side, my knees reset. So usually the way this goes down is he'll be here, and he'll end up giving me a little bump, and when he bumps, he turns on his side. Go. The second he turns on his side, I'm finding that way. What am I doing? Right above the knee, I'm going to use the arch of my foot right above his knee, right there. If you feel this sliding, you know you're in a loose position. So as he pushes you away, my knee starts to open, and now look, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. The, the, the foot locks. I do this, boop, 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 boop. My foot locks, and then my knee slides. I would prefer to scoop his elbow, but if he turns on the side, I just slide behind his Head, this is also okay. I can start, I can work with it. So that's what I want. That's an important little, little problem down there. So the guy ends up bumping and turning on his side. Boom. Immediately I'm finding that little 
spot right above his knee with my, the arch of my foot. My knee, where do I want my knee? I want my knee on the inside, as always. So if his elbow's on the inside, he's gonna have a little bit of leverage to start pushing and escaping. Oof. How can I bring my knee to the inside? Of course. Of course, it's just wrong with me. If I start to move his head this way, watch what happens to his elbow when I start to move his head. Now it's like back on the inside. Make sense? So the guy bumps and turns on his side, gets the elbow on the inside. Go, boom. Boom, boom. He starts to wedge on the inside. And I feel comfortable here. Now I could try to come on the inside like this, but man, it's gonna be tough. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blind him and take him this way. That will loosen up the elbow, so I'm, now I can sneak it to the inside. Now we're back to square one. He's back to square one. Easy enough? This is important. Question. Go. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching my video. Please click like and subscribe to my channel for more great strike-based jiu-jitsu content. If you have any questions about the techniques that I'm demonstrating, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much.